guys so today i'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video in today's video i'm going to be talking about five lebron james cards that i believe are incredible investments right now for the theme of this video, this week's giveaway is going to be a LeBron James 2012 Prism PSA 9. It's a first year Prism. If you want a free chance to enter into this card that is $100 plus, all you have to do is subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Sports Card Invest, and follow my personal page at It's Kanal Ahuja. Um, those three steps, comment the word done, and you will be entered. I will actually be picking the giveaway winner from one of my followers on my Instagram. Um, so definitely make sure that you have followed the three steps. Um, but without further ado, we are going to hop right into the video. Um, so for this video, I'm going to go ahead and try to give a card from each price point. So hopefully, um, whether you're watching this video and you have a couple hundred bucks to spend or whether you have a bigger budget, one of these picks will work for you. Um, so the first pick we have is going to be LeBron's 2003 Fleer rookie card. Um, I do believe that over time, as LeBron's cards continue to get more expensive, especially when he retires um, and he gets cemented in as one of the all-time greats, I believe his Topps rookie card is Topps Chrome. All of his main rookie cards are going to be at such a high price point that there's going to be a lot of people who want to invest in LeBron's cards but cannot afford his top tier rookie cards. And this card right here, of course, Fleer, you guys know, is one of the most recognizable names in the sports card industry, mainly because of Michael Jordan's Fleer rookie card. Um, but this card right here has been selling for... Um, you know, has honestly since its peak dropped one of the highest percentages. Um, so I do see a lot of upside given where these currently sit. I do not believe you will be able to see, um, you know, you'll be able to buy a main brand LeBron James rookie card and a PSA 9 for only 150 bucks. I personally see all of LeBron's main brand rookie cards being in the thousands of dollars in the long run. Um, I think this is a great card to hold on to. Um, the population is not as bad as some of the other products that have released from 2003. And I think these are very tough to grade. So if you can get them in a high grade and a PSA 9 and a PSA 10, um, you could definitely see a big price discrimination. So I would personally try to honestly get these in a PSA 10. Um, you know, if you have to go for a PSA 9, I think it could be worth it too, but I would definitely not suggest buying these in a grade under a PSA 9 because then there's going to be way too many out there. For example, a PSA 8 is probably not going to hold up very well in the long term, but a PSA 10, I think with its semi-low population, is going to be a key rookie card of LeBron James in the long term. Um, now, without further ado... We're going to hop right into our next pick, and that is going to be LeBron's 2003 Bowman Chrome rookie card. Um, now, this is one of his staple rookie cards, but the population is a little bit lower than his main tops um, rookie cards. And on top of that, um, you know, overall, I like the current price point that they're at. Um, I think they've constantly sat at around 50% the price of his tops Chrome right now. They're under 50%. They're around 30 to 40%. Um, the PSA 10, for example, of his Bowman Chrome is at around 2,500 bucks. As you can see, the Topps Chrome's at around 6,000. Um, so true market value, I think, right now should be around 3,000 for his Bowman Chrome. I think you're getting a little bit of a discount there, um, an extra 10 to 15% upside in the long run because we saw during his peak, his Bowman Chrome constantly was around 50% of his Topps Chrome. So I think there's a little bit of a good opportunity here, especially if you can snag one for a little bit better of a price. If you can get one for under 2,500 with his Topps Chrome at 6,000 and growing, I think you're doing really well. Um, so I do definitely love his Bowman Chrome rookie card. Um, now without further ado, we're going to hop right into the next pick, and that is going to be LeBron's first year Prism Silver. Um, now, this card has been an extremely iconic card as Prism continues to dominate the market. I do believe that first year Prism is going to continue and continue to get more and more, um, you know, just popular in general and more and more in demand. And if you guys know anything about 2012 Prism, um, there were only four variations. You had the green, the base, the silver, and the gold. Um, so you guys know that the silver was extremely short printed. There are not many LeBron 2012 Prism Silvers out there on the market, especially in a high grade. Um, so these cards down the line are going to be extremely rare, um, hard to find. There's more 
more for sale now than there ever has been. But as the market continues to as the market bounces back, um, I think we're going to see less and less on the market. Um, and the pop for these is under 100 in pretty much every grade. Um, you know, they're super tough to grade. If you can find one of these in a BGS 9.5 or a, you know, PSA 9 or a PSA 10, I think long term you're looking well into the five figures. Um, I think this is just going to be one of LeBron's staple investments, super rare, hard to come by, um, and an overall great investment for the long term. So um, without further ado, we're going to hop right into the next pick, and that is going to be any year LeBron James Prism Gold, um, Prism True Gold. I believe that these cards down the line are going to be well into the five figures. Every single LeBron Prism Gold, I believe, is going to be like a true Michael Jordan um, rare variation, a rare parallel. Um, I think it's going to be the staple of, you know, just collectors going in and buying LeBron James Prism Golds. There's only 10 from each year, so they're extremely hard to come by. Of course, 2012 is going to be well into the six figures, um, but from 2013 onwards, if you can get your hands on any LeBron James Prism Gold, I believe the upside in the long term is going to be incredible. There's none currently for sale on eBay. Um, that just goes to show how rare there are. There's 10 from every year. And the best thing about this is that collectors, I know, are personally trying to get one from every single year. So the collectors who are trying to complete the Prism Gold LeBron James set are going to at some point have to pay enormous prices to get their hands on them so if you're able to just hold on to them and wait for 10 collectors to want to collect one from every single year you're going to have the advantage because the collector is going to need your card um, to complete the set and i believe 10 plus collectors are going to need to complete this set in the long term um, and so you're going to have all the leverage to charge what you want because that collector is going to need one from every single year and there's only 10 from each year so you're going to have all the leverage so that is one of the many reasons why i believe lebron's prism golds from any year are a great opportunity um, but without further ado we're going to hop right into the next pick and this is going to be LeBron James's um more high-end card um his 2003 Ultimate Collections rookie card. Now this card has gone down pretty much more than any other card I've seen recently of LeBron James. This card right here in a BGS 95 is around a 39 to 40,000 dollar card. Um to put it in perspective, it has never been that low since 2018. Um you heard that right. Since 2018, it has never been that low. Um, so you guys can see from there, this is this is a card that's dropped higher than any other card. This was, you know, a $225,000 card at one point. It is LeBron's premier rookie card behind his gold tops, Chrome Refractor, and of course, his exquisites and logo, man. Um, so I think in the long term, this is pretty much the best LeBron rookie auto you can find. The vertical, of course, out of 250 is going to be the premier parallel. Um, but of course, the horizontal is a good bet as well. I believe these cards in the long term are going to be well into the six figures, if you ask me. I think right now, there's an incredible buying opportunity of the decade for LeBron's ultimate collection rookie cards from his um, his rookie autos. Um, on card, of course, very rare, hard to grade. If you can get them in a you know great grade like a BGS 9.5, a PSA 9, or a PSA 10, I think you're going to do incredible in the long term. Um, but without further ado, we're going to close out the video. If you guys did want to go ahead and enter into the giveaway once again, all you have to do is subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Kanala, it's Kanala Huja, and it's and at Sports Card Invest, comment the word done once you've completed those steps. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.